My name is Kimberly Griswold. Our journey in family court began in late 1999. And in the, the decade plus since, we've experienced things I never thought was possible in the United States. It's hurt our family very much. Um, the biggest reason I'm here today with my son, Alex, is to make a statement that no one but God could define me as a mother and the mother of my son, Alex. Our relationship is God-given and it's no business of the family court to decide whether or not we have that relationship, we do. We were separated for all about three years um, because they couldn't remove my right to see Alex in public. Um, I would go to school functions or meet him at the bus stop with cookies and we would see each other, but we're together. We're here to prove that love, real love, never does die. My name is Alex Harrisbaugh, and I do not know as much about the specifics of how the courts functioned in the case, though Having grown in age, I've looked through the documents and can verify for myself that I am not satisfied with how the courts chose to act in our family's case. And I recall vividly from my childhood much unnecessary difficulty in doing really anything um, because of the government's place in deciding when and where I was supposed to be between my two parents. I, I agree that all of it was unnecessary and uh, I think an important consideration to remember is that family court is making a lot of money off the, the pain of children. There were a lot of people who spoke and wa were paid telling various judges that seemed to change every two years what Alex wanted. But Alex was never allowed to say for himself what he needed, what he wanted. Um, in the state of Minnesota, unless a child is a juvenile delinquent or a criminal, he has no rights. Alex attempted with his older brother, his three older siblings from my first marriage. They went to a nonprofit in St. Paul, Minnesota, asking lawyers to help him write a letter to the judge to finally have his voice heard. They wrote the letter. The judge refused to accept it. Um, there's an email thread from this advocacy. I don't know that Alex has ever seen it, but the head of the advocacy um, admitted her hands were tied, that it's not, that there is no recourse, there is no help, there's no support for children that are being fought over in family court. No one is there to protect them or listen. It's whoever has the most money or power to get whatever it is they want. And last but not least, I divorced in a no-fault state. I wanted the peace of my family. I settled things so that we could move on peacefully. I made a decision with the decree that while it wasn't very fair, it was doable. And to be in court losing everything for the next 12 years, being accused of fault, is not right. 